Cosby's attorney, Monique Presley, is with us now from Washington. Ms. Presley, thank you for being with us. Good morning. What was your client's reaction when he heard he was being charged? Well, this didn't come as any surprise to us. We've been cooperating with the Montgomery County DA's office since we learned of the investigation initially. But they are saying that there is significant evidence in this testimony that was unsealed by the judge. Well, everyone can see that testimony. Your network has had it available as well as all others. You know that this was deposition testimony that was the subject of a confidentiality agreement and was supposed to remain sealed, but instead not just the portions that were improperly released based on the judge's decision, Judge Rubrino, but also the information that was illegally gained through the release of a court reporter to a media entity. The entire deposition is out there, and there's nothing in that deposition where Mr. Cosby admits to committing any crime. In fact, he denies it vehemently and speaks specifically with respect to this incident. However, he does admit to buying quaaludes to use on women, obtaining these quaaludes to use on women. How are you going to defend that in court? Now, why would we have to defend that in court? That's an admission that he makes about offering quaaludes to two specific individuals in the 1970s. Ten years ago, quaaludes weren't even being made anymore. They are literally off the market. It's not something that could even be obtained. And I'm certain even this hungry DA trying to keep a campaign promise isn't going to assert that Mr. Cosby has had hiding somewhere in his medicine cabinet quaaludes that are 30, 40, almost 50 years old. And that's what was offered to Andrea Constant on the evening in question many, many years ago. Well, you know, more than 50 other women have accused your client of similar um, acts regarding and sexual incorrect. assault. And, and that's incorrect. More than 50 women have not accused my client of similar acts. It's easy for, for people like yourselves to say that more than 50 women have done that, but that is not true. Well, 50 women have come forward and publicly stated through the press that Mr. Cosby allegedly sexually assaulted them. Many of them have the exact same stories. How do you plan to defend that in court, or will you try to um, stop that from being admissible in court? Well, it certainly isn't admissible in court, but again, 50 women have not come forward and said they had the exact same story. Someone saying that he rubbed against them or the front of their breast at a party is not the same thing as saying that they were in an ongoing consensual adult relationship and then one evening after multiple interactions, I believe I was drugged. Those aren't the same thing. And what this DA has to do is prove the facts of this case. But Ms. Presley, as you no, the prosecutors could persuade the judge to allow some of the evidence um, from previous other cases uh, into this one. You have to be prepared for that. Well, there aren't previous other cases. What you mean there are is allegations, other as you allegations. know, and, there's, and there, and there yes. are a wide range of allegations, as you know. Yes, and those are all allegations for which there's no corroborating evidence, allegations from decades ago, allegations from women who never bothered to go in and make a complaint to police, and in most instances claimed that they didn't tell another living soul. So if a judge chooses to consider from a prosecutor such testimony, then we will deal with that at that time. Time. He uh, war took a cane with him to court. Is, is, is his current uh, health status part of your defense? His current health status doesn't have anything to do with the defense for this unsubstantiated charge. His current health status is that he's a 78-year-old blind man who they've chosen to charge. That's not a defense to a crime. That's just a fact. Monique Presley, thank you very much. Okay, thank you.